Hi, in this video I'm going to look at my Kenner 1980 uh, Tide Bomber. So I've just unpacked it. See, it's got a slight tinge of yellowing around the plastic part. And around the bit that drops the bomb. You should be able to see the snow, snow trooper there, the Hoff snow trooper as the pilot. I mean, this is quite pricey these days. I mean, the paint on this is pretty good. I bought this in 2011, I paid 80 quid for it off a UK seller on eBay. But we're having a good look at the main body. This bit's the die cast part. We've got plastic cop glass there. You can see this bit's got a slight tinge of yellow to it. But not overall it's in pretty good condition. Looks quite nice, quite detailed. It's got some weight to it. Here's the wings. They're pr still pretty white. There's a little bit of tinge. You can see where it's starting to yellow. I mean, because it's in the natural light, that light sort of obscures the yellow in a way, but you can see it's starting to turn. See all the detailing on the wings, the sculpting detail. I don't know if it says the year. You can see it there. I don't know if you can really read it. Kenna Products. I have to take my glasses off to read that. Ohio. So hard to read that. But all the imprinting is there. So I mean when you're not looking in through the camera, you can definitely see there's a yellow tinge to the wings. Both wings. But pretty nice. And then you just assemble it like so. This goes into there. Push it in carefully. Doesn't really want to move, go in. It hasn't... hasn't Played around with this for a while, but you don't want to overdo, overstress the these plastic bits there. They're pretty fragile. That one went on better than this one. Let's try this one again. There's the Tie Fighter assembled. Tie Bomber, sorry. It's pretty good. I mean, it tends, because it's so heavy, this bit, it tends to droop, which isn't very good. Because it places st stress on the plastic connectors. But it's a really good model. Looks great. Very cool model. But you can see that due to age, this just drops, droops down at the backs. But it's a great model. Here's the Titanium Series TIE Bomber by Hasbro. Probably in a more accurate color scheme, but this is all die cast, the wings are die cast on this. It's a lot smaller though, but still a great model. Very cool. All the detailing there compared to this one. So some similar parts and some differences in the sculpting. But you can look at the size difference. Take this off the stand. Look at the 
the underside. Very cool. This has obviously got some red, added red to make the toy look a bit more exciting. You can see that the wings have a tendency to droop. Same with the Darth Vader's Kenner TIE Fighter as well. There's a bit of play there, look. But this is a very old toy now. 1980, so what's that? 44 years ago almost. But it does look pretty cool. I mean, it's probably definitely one of the best of the die cast, if not the best, and certainly the most sought. Being white plastic, it's going to have that tendency to yellow, which is unfortunate. But a very cool piece. I mean, for a boxed version, you're going to pay quite a bit of money. Let's see if you can stick this under there just to raise it up a bit. Got the tie and the titanium there. Let's just raise the camera up a little bit. Great models there. So that's your Kenner 1980 TIE Bomber. I mean, Legend says it was only test marketed and then they decided not to put it out. I mean, it was shown on the backs of uh, other die casts. So I don't know why they didn't give it a more widespread distribution. It is a great model. It looks great. You can see it just droops there. Whereas this being a single piece looks so good. Very nice. So that's your Hasbro Titanium. This has got an opening cockpit almost. Pretty heavy that. It probably weigh the yeah, weigh about the same really. It's because this has got plastic wings. You can see how they're attached by that thin sprue there. A lot of detailing. And then the main body. Pretty decent, like the dabs of red and green on the back. I'm sure he's got a similar sculpt. No red and green though. Pretty cool though. So that's your Kenner 1980 TIE Bomber. Really highly sought model, quite pricey these days. Loose, carded, I mean boxed or... Um, graded very cool and there's a good look at the Hoff Snow Trooper there okay so I hope you like looking at that cheers goodbye